Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, April 12th. I'm James Spam. Alabama's weather dry and warm through tomorrow, then stormy this weekend. And still a lot of questions about the timing and the magnitude of the severe weather threat. So let's tell you what we know. Let's dive in and talk about it. Easy forecast in the short term. We have a dry northwest flow aloft. A beautiful day today. The sky will be sunny. We're starting off the day mostly in the 40s. Fort Payne at 39. The high should be in the upper 70s. Some spots may be touching 80 today. Up north, very cold air building over Canada. Some of that's going to be pulled southward behind the storm system. We're going to feel that Sunday and early next week. And again, for the growers, watch out for frost potential early next week, especially on Tuesday morning. And boy, look at the watch warning map. This thing is lighting up like a Christmas tree. A lot of areas with red flag warnings. That's the hot pink. I spy a blizzard warning over parts of South Dakota. Winter storm watches, winter storm warnings in the cold air sector of the storm. But of course, we are kind of focused on the warm air sector. So this is tomorrow, the day two outlook. We have an enhanced risk of severe weather uh, for places like Tyler and Longview, Texas, Shreveport and Monroe, Monroe, Louisiana, much of Arkansas, Springfield, Missouri. Uh, the risk extends as far north as Iowa and as far east as the Mississippi Delta. But again, for us, uh, Friday, tomorrow, it's going to be a, a warm, dry, kind of breezy day. But this is our day to watch. This is for Saturday and Saturday night. Uh, this outlook runs from 7 a.m. Saturday until 7 a.m. Sunday. And the SPC has defined an enhanced risk from Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anayana, Rainbow City, Talladega, Alexander City, and south down to the Gulf Coast. The standard risk runs up into Tennessee around Nashville. And, of course, we'll uh, focus on this as we go. And then on day four, which is Sunday, this is after 7 a.m. Sunday, a risk of severe storms onto the east. Whole lot of rain here this weekend. This is the rain for the next seven days, but the bulk of this will come uh, Saturday, Saturday night, and early Sunday. A little uh, yellow circle you see up there in northwest Alabama, that represents four-inch rain amounts. And if we get that much, there could be some flooding issues there. Uh, many spots going over two inches, so... Uh, a lot of stuff is on the table for the weekend, so let's uh, see if we can sort this out. I'm afraid we still have more questions than answers at this point, but we'll dive into this. This is the GFS, the 06E run at 1 o'clock today. The trough that will be driving the storm is out in the western states. It is now in the American Upper Air Network, so uh, we should be getting you know, better resolution here in the next 24 hours. But for us, a beautiful day, sunny with a high 77 to 80. Tomorrow, there's your blizzard. Deep surface low over Nebraska, blizzard for parts of South Dakota. In the warm sector, you got your dry line down Interstate 35, and severe storms will likely break out in advance of that. This is the STP, uh, valid tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock Central Time. The max is a 4.4 over uh, far east Oklahoma, uh, northeastern Texas. And again, our friends to the west will have to watch those storms carefully. But again, we stress for us, no problems tomorrow. Now, this is Saturday. The surface low is near Kansas City, and it's filling a little bit. It's up to 1,000 millibars, still very heavy snow falling in parts of Minnesota, South Dakota, Nebraska. And uh, so rain and storms will come in here. The question is when. We'll see what we've got here. We're starting to uh, get within our 60-hour window. Now, what I think this is very credible here. This is Saturday morning at 7 o'clock, and I think the radar will look a lot like this. We should see a weakening band of rain and storms creeping into northwest Alabama early Saturday morning. Let's go to 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. And again, if this were to verify, then for the northern part of the state, it's cloudy. We have a chance of rain. And again, nothing really severe Saturday morning. I don't expect any severe weather problems Saturday morning, but no doubt it could rain. And the heavier storms developing from Jackson South down to Baton Rouge. And look at the instability Saturday at 1 o'clock. Hardly any uh, instability for the northwestern part of the state because of rain-cooled air. Uh, some is starting to build over the northeastern part of the state. But, you know, if this were to verify, it could work out that the higher severe weather possibilities for Saturday afternoon and Saturday night would be over the eastern and southern part of the state, especially the southern part where those higher instability values will be. 
This is the European. It's still slower. This is a 1 a.m. Sunday, and it's got the main batch coming in here. And if this thing is right, then you know we have higher instability, and uh, all of the state would be in play for severe weather. This is the instability off the European at 1 a.m. Sunday. And again, there's a pretty good bit of that across a decent part of the state. So again, it's we're not quite ready to be confident in the timing. There's a chance of rain Saturday morning. I'll put it that way, especially over north and west Alabama. We don't expect anything severe Saturday morning. Then uh, later in the day, Saturday afternoon and Saturday night, the storms could re-intensify, become severe, especially over east and south Alabama. And all modes of severe weather would be possible. The main threat, strong straight line winds, maybe damaging straight line winds, some hail, and a couple of tornadoes are possible. I think the higher tornado threat over the southern half of the state. So we'll keep watching. Sunday, going to be kind of a raw day. The, the big storms are out of here. Should be much cooler. I think we'll be in the 50s much of the day. In fact, all day. Clouds, a brisk north wind to make it feel colder. But again, the rain should end pretty early Sunday. And then Monday, the storm lifting out. Monday morning, we could be in the upper 30s. Still windy. I don't think we'll see any frost Monday morning. But this is Tuesday, and this is when we could see frost. The sky clear, the wind light. We go in the 30s. And some of the colder pockets might even see a freeze. So, again, growers beware. And then we start to warm up Tuesday with a high around 70. And this is Wednesday. Beautiful day, sunny with 70s. And a week from today, new trough in the southwest United States. But, again, we are dry. This is the end of the forecast period, Saturday the 21st. Uh-oh, negative tilt upper trough. Another potent storm system. That might bring a chance of severe weather. I don't know what we're doing to deserve these threats over the weekend. Here are the numbers coming off the European. And again, check out the cool air on Sunday and Monday with highs in the 50s. And it's got Monday at 39, Tuesday 37. And that's for Birmingham. Colder pockets will go below that. And again, uh, there is some real concern of a late season frost early Tuesday. But that should be the last one of this winter that just doesn't want to go away. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models. So give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.